Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about the Street Outlaws racing at the SmackDown 2024 race this weekend. Now, for the greatest track lead to it, for the owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, there are two Street Outlaws racing at the big $150,000 to win SmackDown race from the Midwest Drag Racing Series at Flying H Drag Strip. And one of them is actually an NPK legal car. So, Cole Pass and Brandon Pass will be racing the Eleanor Mustang and also the Destiny Pro Mod at this race. And the Eleanor Mustang is a brand new car for NPK. It actually came out couple of weeks ago for the first time and it's done pretty good it's still a new car they still are getting it figured out on a no prep track but they're racing on a prep track obviously for this pro mod race and in testing in its fourth pass the car went at 370 at 203 miles an hour so as you may see it is really fast now i believe it's going to go faster and this run was at 3,500 feet of density altitude, which is bad air. That air is not good at all. So even though this weekend the air will not get better, most likely it's going to be real bad between 3,000 and 4,000 feet of DA. And the water grains are definitely up there, 90, 100 water grains or so. I believe this car will go 60s. Now... Kai Kelly has been the fastest, at least publicly, with an MPK car. He, he went at 369 in PDRA. I believe this car has the capability of going faster. And if it is going to go faster, it's going to be this weekend. So it's already been 203 miles an hour. Even in bad air, I think it could definitely go 360s. So I don't know if it's going to be fast enough to actually win this pro mod race but hey brandon pass cole pass that whole family they know what they're doing especially with making horsepower and the 49 pjs hemi that's a combination that makes a lot of horsepower in my opinion the most horsepower out of a supercharged combination currently on npk so i think it's gonna go faster than 370 and they still have testing today. Also qualifying starts today. So by the time I actually post this video, most likely he might actually have gone faster. So we're going to have to pay attention to updates. But beautiful car. As I've said, they're still getting it sorted out on a no prep track. But I'm sure they will. And even though they came in way late and... I'm not sure if they will actually make the Elite 16. It's looking a little bit hard for them to actually make it. Hopefully they have a good showing at the next race next weekend. But this also works as a test session. And next week's NPK race is at US 131, which is a very good track. So let's see how they do. Let's see how fast they go. And let's see what happens.